Hello there and welcome back to our short uh, course on the Cambridge A-Levels Business Studies. Um, this will be uh, focused on economic problem and the opportunity cost today. Specifically, uh, what are we going to talk about? We are going to look at um, how to describe businesses and basically how to explain why businesses can't create everything for everyone. Um, so there are two components of this very short um, uh, presentation. Stay tuned. So what is an economic problem? Before we look at the um, reasons for economic problem, let's just um, talk about how we as human beings have many, many, many needs and wants and how um, sometimes the things that we want is not necessarily there for you to purchase. It could be because you don't have enough money or it could be because there is just no such product available. That is essentially what an economic problem is. When there is insufficiency or, you know, the, there's scarcity where you want something and it's not there or you don't have the money to purchase it because you don't have enough resources um, or because um, there is not enough people out there who are able to produce something so new and spectacular. Let's talk further about this in our next slide. And um, now let's look at the various types of uh, limitation uh, or scarcity that we are facing today. We have a scarcity or limitation in terms of natural resources, basically uh, the natural land or uh, uh, more greenery that's needed to uh, produce certain products or services. For example, if you look at a farmer needing to have a good piece of healthy land before he can even start planting seeds or sowing seeds, right? And if he he or she is living in an environment that's heavily polluted all right or um, and things like that that would really really affect his uh, the growth of his vegetables and, and and plants for that matter now apart from that we also need to look at how we want certain products and services but it's not really really there simply because there's no one out there producing such things now you may be asking what do you mean by that well, we don't have the right skills or uh, we don't have the knowledge of creating something different and new. And that is a limitation when, uh, in terms of th uh, the economic problem, simply because um, the needs and wants of human beings, such as you and I, will never be satisfied because you may have a need that is different and I may have a want that is different than yours. And... To make the economy grow or to grow uh, a business uh, and eventually a country and a nation, the ability to satisfy everyone's needs is very, very essential. So we have understood a little bit about how an economic problem come to be, but what do businesses do or what should they do when there is an economic problem? Now, let's look at this in the next slide. Now, with an economic problem, there comes a choice that you would have to make. Similar to this picture that you see on the screen, you come into a crossroad and you would have to decide whether to take A, right, to choose what they can produce with the limited resources they have. And this will lead to another choice being uh, let go. Right, we'll uh, forego another choice, which could be made a much uh, better choice. Now, similar to a human being such as you, and you making a decision with what limited resources you have, you may not be able to buy the pants and the shoes that you really like, but you have to choose one over the other. And the one that you have to let go would lead to this definition of an opportunity cost. Now, can you provide me with an example of an opportunity cost? You can use something similar or something uh, familiar to your daily lives to describe an opportunity cost as what I'm going to do in the next slide for an example. When you first finish your 
SPM or your pre-tertiary education, you would have probably been the same crossroads as, as you would have seen in the pictures before, where you would have to decide whether you want to go to work straight away or continue your education. Now, the fact that you had to choose between work and study would mean that you cannot do both at the same time. But letting go of one to do the other is basically letting go of the most important choice in order to do the second best. The one that you let go is considered as an opportunity cost. So what other examples of opportunity cost can you think of? Now, that's all for today's class. If you have, um, if you would like to read a bit about um, uh, business studies uh, in case you prefer reading rather than watching videos and listening to me talk, then you may visit my website um, at www.savage.com.my blog to read and understand better. Thank you and have a great day.